Carefully. All right, so we've got some grooming. Here come the babies, just in time for the good sunrise. Heat. Oh, oh, they're still learning about the different sounds I'm making. So Look at those. Yeah, just yeah. recently emerged and only just starting to move with a group. Those five babies. Now the average litter size is <laughs> three to five in a group litter. And they'll have maybe two or three litters in a year, I mentioned briefly before. Mm -hmm. The big litter would be six. World record we found in the Kalahari Desert was seven from one female. Wow. So this is a big litter. And so far everyone's doing really well. Please notice again what I mentioned, how they tend to stand in front of everyone else. Yeah. And how and, everyone will start moving over, yeah, and yeah, making room yeah. for everyone else. Yeah. Lots of social grooming going on over there. And if you have a look at the one just to the right, she is world famous. Been in many, many films. She was on Africa Geographic front page last year. Oh. The one standing just behind this little one on the far right here. Yeah? Yeah. And she's got obvious patches of milk around her mammy. So she's been suckled on. This is the dominant female of this group. She's one of the oldest surviving meerkats in the wild that we've documented. She was born in 2001. She's the sole survivor out of a litter of four. Right. She's been through floods. She's been through droughts. These are her babies. Right. And is it just the, is it just the mother that has the baby that ah, suffers? Ah, now it? you're asking a very interesting question. The answer is quite simple. In textbooks, they will say it, these animals are primiparous. There's a single breeding female. This is not correct. The textbooks are often incon, uh, incomplete. And much of the research data is still coming out of the scientific papers. The simple answer is meerkat breeding females usually have one female who's the dominant female who successfully raises her young. The others also get pregnant, but they usually do not manage to raise their young. Quite simply put, there are not enough food resources in the semi-desert ecosystems in the lower parts of Africa where meerkats live for all of the females to have young that are then raised successfully. So usually the most dominant female of all is the one who successfully raises her young. Right, okay. So again, there's not one female who has young. Many female have young. Usually only one successfully right. raises them. Okay. Banded mongoose are multiparous. They have many females who are breeding at the same time and raise their young successfully. But they live in the subtropics to the central and east parts of Africa where there's enough food to go around for everyone. All right. So this sunning behavior is what I was mentioning earlier. Yeah. Really <laughs> lovely waking up. But stretching if, their bellies to the sunlight, yes. If, if the other females have milk and they haven't <laughs> bred the young, would yes. can the young <laughs> suckle from any of them or is it only from its mother? All right, they will actually allo suckle from females who've had young and lost young. So we call this allo suckling when the females are allo lactating. So other babies, well, all the babies in a litter actually benefit from all the other females who would have had young as well. But it's very unusual for more than one female's young to survive to the point of where the young would emerge and if that does happen these young are usually then left behind because they're not old enough to follow the dominant right. female's babies because she usually gives birth first right. now this is the simple story of it what we find in meerkats is what we call reproductive suppression a dominant female aggressively evicts or chases out any possible breeding females to try and prevent them getting pregnant at the same time as she does oh. These females then meet up with wandering males on the outskirts of the territories, get pregnant and usually lose their young through stress it seems, and then they're still producing milk. If they manage to survive and return to the group which they're chased from, they do not wander off of their own accord as is popular in the media, this is not the case, it's too dangerous to wander off by themselves. Mm -hmm. They chase out, they don't want to leave clearly because they try to get back into the group again and again and again. If they manage to survive, and most females don't survive more than one eviction, the dominant female here survived over 10. She really is a very tough old female meerkat. And her daughter from September is the next oldest, as I was mentioning briefly before, so she's most likely going to become the next dominant female. They help to raise one another's young. Meerkats are one of the world's best examples in the mammal kingdom of a cooperative, sociable breeding mammal. Quite simply meaning males, females, young, old and unrelated animals all help to raise the young. It's not just the role of the mother or father to do this. In fact, the mother leaves the burrow usually and we have what we call babysitters animals that still spend up to a day or even two days in a row looking after somebody else's young usually not their own but they are relatives quite often so it's the same as raising the nephew siblings 
And so and they get a genetic benefit as well as one day maybe being able to do this themselves if they inherit the breeding status. So males will migrate, females will inherit. Hear them. And there's that nodding off. Again, the sounds I'm making are just letting them know that we are not a threat to them. Here in the meerkat magic valley, as I like to say, and the meerkat magic. It's chirping. <laughs> exactly. So the all is well call. So would they all be up now? Not everyone is up just yet, I don't think. Going to get a good count in a moment, but let's just see who we can see for now. I'm trying to see the differences between, you know, trying to sort of mark one out that... I'm counting 22 at this stage. I'm going to check again. All right, now I'm getting 21. We'll have a look. Brrr. 